Hey guys, today we're gonna to start looking at slope intercept form. We're gonna answer the question, how do I write an equation in slope intercept form from graphs, including vertical and horizontal lines? So slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m, the coefficient of x is the slope, and b, the constant, is the y-intercept from the graph. The y-intercept, or b, is where the line crosses the y-axis, so it's also where the x value is zero. And then the slope, or m, of a graphed line can be found by finding rise over run. So that is for positive and negative lines. For horizontal and vertical lines, we have this acronym HOI-VUX that can help us remember characteristics of them. So horizontal lines have a zero slope. And when they have a zero slope, they cross the y-axis, so they're going to have a y equals equation. Vertical lines have an undefined slope, and they cross the x-axis, so they have an x equals equation. So for positive and negative lines, we will use y equals mx plus b. For horizontal and vertical lines, we will think about hoi vux. So on number one, I can see that that is a negative line, and I want to write it in y equals mx plus b form. So I'm going to need m, the slope, which will be the coefficient of x, and b, the y-intercept where we cross the y-axis. Let's start with the y-intercept because that's usually pretty easy to recognize. It is right there at 2. That is where the line is crossing the y-axis. All right, now I can tell that the slope is negative, and I'm going to draw a slope triangle and find the rise, which is 1 over the run, which is three. So my slope is negative one third. So my equation in slope intercept form would be y equals negative one third x plus two. All right, let's look at number two. So we have one of our special cases, we have a horizontal line, so that means that the slope is zero and then our y intercept is negative three so if i were to write this in slope intercept form it would be y equals zero x minus three this zero x is unnecessary if we have no x's zero x's we don't need to write anything down so it would just be y equals negative three for our final equation if you think back to our acronym from the beginning, hoi vux, this is the hoi part. This was a horizontal line with a zero slope, so that's how we knew it had a y equals equation. All right, let's look at number three. I have a positive line, so I'm going to write it in y equals mx plus b form. I need the slope, and I'll need the y-intercept. The y-intercept is zero since this line is crossing through the origin. And now let's find the slope by drawing a slope triangle with two perfect points. My rise is two, the run is one, so the slope is two over one or two. So my equation is y equals two x plus zero. We can simplify that because this plus zero is kind of unnecessary. So it'll just be y equals two x. All right, let's look at four. So I have a vertical line. So it's gonna be one of our special cases. The slope is undefined. And the y-intercept is none. It is never going to intersect the y-axis since it's parallel with the y-axis. So that kind of tells us that this is gonna be a different equation. So this is going to be an x equals equation because it's going through the x-axis and all of the x values of this equation are always going to be x equals 3. If you think about our acronym from the beginning, this is the VUX part in hoi VUX. We have a vertical line with an undefined slope, so it's going to have an x equals equation. All right, number five, I have a negative line, so I'll need the slope 
and the y-intercept, and then I can write it in slope-intercept form. So let's start with the y-intercept. This graph is crossing the y-axis at negative 2. And then my slope, I'm going to find two perfect points, draw my slope triangle. The rise is 2. The run is 3. So the slope is negative 2 thirds. Don't forget the negative. So my equation in slope-intercept form would be y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 2. All right, number 6, I have another positive slope, so I'm going to need the slope and the y-intercept. The y-intercept is negative 8, and then my slope is positive. I need to be careful with counting the rise because my y-axis is counting by twos here. So I'm going to draw my two perfect points. My rise is two spaces, but I have to count that by two, so it's really two, four. And then the run is one, two, three. So my slope is four thirds. So now I have the slope and the y-intercept, so I can write it in slope-intercept form. It'll be y equals four thirds x minus eight. All right, number seven. I need the slope and the y-intercept to be able to write this equation. Y-intercept is at 12, and then I see that my slope is negative, so I'm going to go ahead and put that. And before I count the slope, I'm going to recognize that the y-axis is counting by 3, so I'll have to count my rise by 3s. So here's my two perfect points. Let's draw our slope triangle. The rise is 3, and the run is also 1, 2, 3. So my slope is negative 3 over 3, which simplifies to negative 1. So the equation would be y equals negative x plus 12. You could put that one there, but it's a little more proper to just leave it as negative x. Okay, number 8. I need the slope and I need the y-intercept. Y-intercept is negative 15, and the slope is positive. Let's be careful when we're counting the rise. It looks like we're counting by fives. That'd be 5, 10, 15. Yes, we're counting by fives. So there's a perfect point. There's a perfect point. My rise is one space, but that's really five, and then the run is still just counting by ones. So the slope is 5 over 1, which simplifies to 5. So our equation is in slope-intercept form is y equals 5x minus 15. And number 9, I have a horizontal line. My slope is 0. And my y-intercept is between 20 and 40, so that is 30. So my equation would be y equals 0x plus 30. 30, which simplifies to y equals 30. And if you think about our acronym for our special cases, this would be the hoy and hoy vux. We have a horizontal line with a zero slope and a y equals equation.